Hello, and today we are going to talk about the Amigo Assistive Switch. The Amigo uses very accurate EMG technology to pick up tiny muscle movements to trigger electronic assistive equipment. It works with any working muscle, such as arm, hands, legs, and facial muscles. With the Amigo, you can also adjust the sensitivity threshold to allow you to detect even the slightest of muscle movements. The Amigo was designed for people with degenerative muscle movements to use as a switch access to control computers and tablets with their favourite software. To start with, let's take a look at the patient unit. You will receive one Amigo patient unit in your kit. This patient unit is used for detecting muscle twitches. On the back of the patient unit, you will see two square sensors. These sensors will make full contact with the skin and are key to picking up muscle signals. The power switch can be found on the front as well as a small LED light to indicate things such as power on, picking up a signal and low battery. Next is the base unit. The base unit acts as a connection between your chosen hardware such as a laptop or tablet device. It also gives you the ability to control the sensitivity of the patient unit sensors. Let's take a look at each of the buttons on the base unit. From your top left you will see buttons 1 and 2. You can use up to two patient units with one base unit, allowing you for further switch access. The 1 and 2 buttons correspond to the channel in which your Amigo patient unit is paired with. Patient units are paired during the manufacturing process with the number 1 channel as standard. Below these buttons is the audio feedback button. This gives you the option of different audio feedbacks including the bleep function. Moving on to your top right you will see the power button used for powering up the Amigo as well as powering down. Then below these are the plus and minus buttons. These are used to control the sensitivity threshold and will be key to accurately getting the best signal position for a user. In your box you will find two connecting cables. The standard USB cable which plugs into the back of the base unit and into your chosen device and the standard audio cable that also goes into the back of the base unit and into your chosen device. You will also find a plug which can be used for charging. To do this, plug the USB into the plug and into a safe wall socket. To charge the Amigo, ensure the base unit is connected to the USB cable and place the patient unit sensor side up on the center of the base unit. The LED next to the power button will flash to indicate charging. In your kit you will also find two different ways of attaching the Amigo unit to a working muscle. These include the Velcro strap with medically approved silicon holster and the medically approved sticky patches. To use the Velcro strap, simply place the patient unit into the holster and wrap around the muscle as demonstrated here. Be careful not to wrap too tight as users may find this uncomfortable and remember to always make sure the sensors are making full contact with the skin. The sticky patches are designed to be an alternative to the Velcro strap. They can be placed on any part of the body and the adhesive patches will last a number of days depending on usage. To attach the sticky pads, place the Amigo in the holster and affix the sticky pad onto the holster as demonstrated. You can now cut down the holster if required and stick to the necessary muscle. Thanks for watching this introduction video to the Amigo. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website at www.amigo.co.uk.